how to look in public. Hallelujah. Just because you are a woman of household, it does not mean that you need to look pitiful. Hallelujah. It does not mean that you need to look torn. Hallelujah. We don't need to find you in your house. Hallelujah. Be a Hallelujah. Be a woman of class, people of God. Hallelujah. Even when you go to bed with your husband, hallelujah. It says she makes coverings for her bed. Hallelujah. She doesn't go to bed with that melenza on the head. Hallelujah. I don't know. I'm still young. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 23. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. Her husband is respected at the city gate. Hallelujah. Amen. Where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. This proverb states to one woman, her, her characteristic is she helps her husband to be a man of influence. Hallelujah. This woman, she works vigorously at her home, serving her husband and serving her family. Hallelujah. She frees her husband to go to the city gates. Hallelujah. Are you a woman that captures and, what is that? To kidnap. Are you a woman who kidnaps her husband just to stay at home? Do you want to be that kind of woman who doesn't allow the husband to go out to the city gates? Hallelujah. Yeah. The Proverbs that one woman, she frees her husband. She wants to see her husband become a man of influence. Hallelujah. Yeah. It can be in a society. It can be at a workplace. It can be in any kind of denomination. Hallelujah. Yeah. Every woman finds pride and joy when they see their husband being being honored and being given the respect hallelujah but here you see her husband is respected where at the city gates hallelujah this woman she brings honor to her husband hallelujah to the name of her husband hallelujah by the way she runs her home by the way she does things in her home hallelujah it does not just come it does not just happen in any way, but she is the one that ensures it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She does not compete with her husband for respect. Hallelujah. Amen. A proverb that one woman, she does not stand neck to neck with the husband. Hallelujah. She does not demand respect in her, in her household. Hallelujah. But respect is given to her by the husband when it's true. Hallelujah. This woman does not need to compete with the husband for respect. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we are saying that she is the kind of woman that desires her husband to be respected. Hallelujah. She is the kind of woman that desires the husband to be highly esteemed. Hallelujah. She is the kind of woman that knows that the promotion of her husband is her reward. Hallelujah. The kind of woman who wants to see her husband on top. Hallelujah. When you are in this place and you are a woman, do you want to see your husband as the tail? No. no. You want your husband to always be on top. You want your husband to wrap shoulders with big people. Hallelujah. Yeah. You want your husband to sit on that high table. Hallelujah. Yeah. You want your husband to be sitting <coughs> with VIPs. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now this is the kind of woman. For that husband to do that, she needs to be released by the wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. She needs to be supported by that wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Verse 24, she makes linen garments and sell them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. She makes linen garments and sells them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. This woman pursues her talent, hallelujah. She's a woman who pursues talent, hallelujah. She is willing to use her talents to add to her family's benefit, hallelujah. That's why the Bible says she makes linen garments and sells them. 
She is the one who does this with her own talent. Hallelujah. Yeah. You've got a business mind, you've got a business mind, but you are just sitting home and you know that with that kind of talent you can do something you can add or bring something to the family 